and my channel where I talk about everything related to midwifery and women. So if this is your first time in my channel, kindly stick around, watch this video to the end. And if it's something that you're really interested in, don't forget to share with people that can benefit from this as well. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching my video. So today I'm going to be talking about an important aspect basically of you know traveling and all of that. So this video is for those pregnant women that is migrating to the UK. So you are pregnant and you're migrating to the UK. What do you need to know? All those things you need to know basically. So if this video is something that will you know benefit you kindly stick around watch to the end and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel so basically if you're a pregnant woman on depending on whatever stage your pregnancy regardless of whatever stage your pregnancy is you're migrating to the uk you need there are some things you really 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 need to know basically the first thing i'm going to talk about is you need to know about you know getting a kind of transfer letter from your you know current doctor in your home country for instance you're coming from nigeria and you already booked your pregnancy in nigeria and you're traveling try as much as possible to get details of your pregnancy from your doctor it can be in form of email in form of letter in form of any form try to get those informations and another thing is try to get a copy of your first scan basically so the first scan is more reliable when we uh, regarding counting the due dates of your pregnancy so the first scan is more reliable if you can get a copy of your first scan as well if you can get you know a details a kind of letter from your doctor to say that this is everything about you if it is it can be in written form it can be in you know it can be printed it can be any form it can even be a kind of snap a picture that you take so just for the doctors here or the people that are going to be taking care of you here to have an overview of what your pregnancy is like and what has been going on with your pregnancy basically so it's very 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 important for you to get that information to to be able to get an effective care from the healthcare providers here so you can get that regardless of the stage of your pregnancy especially if your pregnancy is already advancing another thing you need to know is you come in here what support do you have here so or what support you know what support system do you have in the uk already if you have friends you know colleagues you know people that can really really support you during the period of the pregnancy when i mean support it can mean that accommodations who can help you get accommodation or you've gotten the accommodations who can tell you show you how to get to the gp how to register your pregnancy how to get to the hospital how to do all of those things it's very very important if you do not have any of those informations any of those support make sure as soon as you get to the uk try to you know once you get to the UK, browse GP near me. When you get to the GP, tell them your pregnancy, and I'm sure they will be able to take it further to tell you what to do, basically. That's if you don't have anyone, you don't have any support system, kind of. But if you have had them, they will be able to put you through as well. Another thing you need to know is the stage of your pregnancy and what is expected of you at that stage. If you are do, getting close to your due date, then you should take accommodation. Very, very, very important. You should make sure you are not, you know, planning to stay in a shared apartment with your baby. So even if you, you know, if you are with your partner or something, so you should make sure you are trying to get the best accommodation for yourself, not a shared apartment and not an hotel or Airbnb apartment. So you should work on getting that apartment before your baby 
definitely arrived. Otherwise, that might give you some kind of, you know, mental, you know, disturbance and all of that because everyone will be giving you information as per, oh, they will not give you your baby if you, if you don't have house and they can really create, you know, some kind of, you know, um, in uh, what's it called, fear in you, basically. And that is how the system here basically works. So you really, really, really need to, you know, be sure you have an accommodation, basically, that you need to, you know, that you get your baby in and all of that after having your baby. Another thing is that, another important thing is, yeah you have your baby things baby things you're buying all of that there are location is it location or country specific baby things that you really need to get unlike in nigeria some things are not important some things in nigeria that are luxury some baby things are luxury in nigeria for instance getting a stroller in nigeria it is luxury it's not everyone because we back our baby in the back at our back once you have rapa or ja and all of that, that is enough for Nigeria. But for year, you really, really need to get a stroller. Yeah. So that is one of the important things as well. As a matter of fact, if you don't have baby carrier, they will not hand over your baby to you from the hospital. So you really, really need to get that. Well, that's one of the things that are kind of expensive of the things you need to buy for your baby. But you can get some used one some less expensive one on different different start sites that is why if you have people here you can ask them especially those that have children as well so if you ask them they can tell you where you can get those things at a ship area because once you get to this place most of the things are being sold in pounds and it is really really not easy especially when you are changing naira to pounds when you have not started earning in pounds and you have to change your naira to pounds so it might really really be you know worrisome basically so you really need to get that stroller another thing is another important thing that it is luxury in nigeria is baby court so if your baby is already your pregnancy is already getting close to the due date the two most important things you need to get after getting an accommodation is the, the stroller and the baby coat so apparently after you've been discharged from the hospital they will be discharging you to a community midwife and the ex visitor the community midwife would completely discharge you after six weeks and um after from 10 days as well, they will, they will discharge you to, you know, they will transfer your care to the earth visitor. So the earth visitor will be visiting you and all of that. So you really need to have a court at home if you don't have a court, because in this country, you cannot, is, you, can, you should not, or it is not advisable, is it, it is wrong to put your baby on the bed with you where you're sleeping. And the reason being that, this place they are duvet they use duvet and duvet is very very you know some people get very thick duvet because of the way the weather is so if you're sleeping and uh, the baby is sleeping on the couch you might forget to you know use the duvet to cover the baby and that can cause sudden infant death the death of the baby from shocking from you know all of that so that is why they advise you should not put your baby on the court one of the reasons they say you should not put your baby on the bed with you so you really need to get a baby coat another thing is that baby can sleep and fall down from the bed all of that they really take all of those things important so you really need to get a baby coat if you are in this country so if you're pregnant and you're coming to the uk after getting all of those maybe baby clothes can clinic the most essential thing is accommodation the stroller and the baby coat basically of course the food you can get you can decide to be you know to breastfeed your baby and to say you want to breastfeed or you want to give formula you want to do, 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 do all of those things are choice but the the one that are compulsory is the baby stroller baby carrier 
if you don't have all of those things, you might have issue with the hospital, with the government. And once you have an issue with the hospital, it's translating to having issue with the government, basically, because everything is unfortunately linked together. So you can, you know, you can't really buy caught all of those things. So I think that is one of the important things and that's what i'll be discussing in this episode of getting pregnant and you're pregnant and traveling to the uk all you need to know so you need to know basically you don't really need much money you don't really need money to be used in the hospital it is free you don't need to do anything in as much as you are entitled to nhs pay if uh, nhs you know services if you come as a student i think they already pay if you come as a as a worker as well you are paying so you don't really need anything to be paid for in the hospital but the important things you need information you need to get is you need to come in with the information of your about your pregnancy so if you're planning to come it's not a secret thing tell your doctor or your hospital they will give you you know an overview of what your pregnancy is all about and make sure you have a at least you should have a copy of your scan the first scan the, your first scan you should have a copy of that that will make them to be able to adequately calculate your gestational age your pregnancy you can't just tell us all of those things in, with mouth you need you know an evidence so even if it's just like you snap that you can ha- use it yeah it is acceptable then another thing is accommodation you should have a decent accommodation if you, you are with your partner as well to make sure you are not getting a shared apartment, you are not in an Airbnb apartment or hotel apartment when you are having your baby. So you should plan all of that as well. <laughs> Excuse me. Another important thing you need to do is to get a court and a stroller, a, a, a complete stroller, the stroller and the baby, you know, baby carrier, baby carrier to carry the baby from the hospital. Stroller if he wants to go out and all of that they basically use the stroller and those things are luxury in nigeria i know for their necessities here so thank you for watching my video if you watch to this stage and if you have any question kindly comment on this video and i'm going to reply you thank you bye see you in my next video